Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. And I think it's Friday. Yum, 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 yum. I think it's Friday. Right, isn't it? I have no idea. <laughs> Let me check. Uh, April the 12th, 2024. Yes, Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. And you know what that means? Not a goddamn thing. How about that? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Is what a difference. Um What a difference a day makes, right? Things there is cause effect. Cause and effect is real, everybody. Listen to me very carefully. If you don't get anything out of anything I'm saying, just remember cause and effect is real. And you do read what you've sown, okay? And a lot of people always want to dismiss that because, you know, I mean, there is a timing to everything. Let me see if I can turn this light down. You know, th there's timing, timing to everything. Everything has, has its timing. Where things happen, you know, at certain moments and, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people want to attempt to interfere with that. But, you you know, you really, you really have no uh, power to interfere with cause and effect, except when it relates to you. You have the power to control your destiny. You know, and you, you, you know, the, and and that's a wonderful thing. That's what it is. That's what free will. Is. That's why free will is so powerful. You know, you you control that. You don't need a third party. But I know a lot of us. It's going to take a while for a lot of us to understand that. Because think about it. You have everything you need in your innermost being to to uh, live a fabulous life. To go through trials, tribulations mistakes errors luck sometimes and then you get breakthroughs you know you get ideas and and you know and then it, it causes your life to to open up to so many possibilities it's like wow so you don't need a third party but a lot of us are going to take it's going to take some time because a lot of us just need guidance that's all and that's what i provide i provide guidance just like everybody else you know I, i'm doing this because i I want to, and I do this because I want to help uh, to spread universal love. I want to let people know that, you know, everything is possible if you're given the right information. And so much information has been hidden from us for hundreds of years, thousands of years, maybe millions. Certain information has been hidden from us. And so th because of that, it opens up... Um, yeah, my phone. It opens up um, vulnerability for a lot of us because sometimes we just don't know who's telling us the truth, who's attempting to manipulate us, who's attempting to deceive us, who's attempting to exploit us, and, and, and it ranges in the millions, maybe billions of people may be attempting to do that. We know that it happens in the pyramid of our governments and our leadership. We know that. There's proof and evidence of that. And so that's why, you know, and I know the people that resonate with me understand that. That, yes, there are hidden hands involved in every, uh, in every corners of our lives. Attempting to control us and manipulate us and take something from us subjugate us have a submissive and, and subservient you know which i refuse but i know what my limits are too my physical limits to how to uh managing and and uh, control that you know people could physically uh have so much power over me that sometimes i can suc succumb to it you know so what a difference a day makes. But at the same time, if you're doing everything you that's possible for you to be righteous and have the right intentions and the right purpose, you will get through all of this. It's going to get worse before it gets better. 
especially in a relationship to our interpersonal relationships or lack thereof. Yum, yum. So the purpose of this video today is um, I have been just picking up something that has been bothering me for a while. And, and that's why I said always pay attention to the company you keep. And usually the most damage in some cases is occurring in the like-mindedness of people that you know, people that you have some type of association with. It's so, I think in most cases, um, especially with my experience, um, there's, I don't really have a lot of uh, randomness of things happening to me from strangers. It usually is happening to people that I have some type of association with. I may have seen them at one point. I may have worked with them. I may have lived in the same areas. They are in the same flow of of developing development because I told you I'm into developing myself. I'm into you know the 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 core of myself, which is my spirituality. You know the spirituality of my core which is in my innermost being. And it's like a, a lot of people call it wellness. Okay, you can call it wellness. You know, self-help, uh, self-management. You know, it's all about self-improvement. That's it, self-improvement. So a lot of people, billions of people circle around in that kind of group and that kind of activity. And sadly, there's a lot of people in there just to manipulate you, to manipulate us and, and take, 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 take. And they want to control, control, control you. And tell you that they have some they have some secret formulas that you know that they and that's what that's where you have to be really conscious of what's going on. This all started actually back when we got on the internet, and I told you about people coming through with these schemes, you know, these marketing schemes, the and which which targeted the wellness communities, you know, the people that were attempting to do self help and this and that, and people were you know popped up on the internet. And we all got excited. You know, I can make a million dollars in my underwear? Are you kidding me? Who wouldn't turn that down? You know, that kind of... And so, you know, a lot of people started manipulating and this and that and the other. Stealing people's money. Getting people um, in these contracts where money was just taken out of their accounts. And they couldn't stop it. And, you know, it just got crazy. And it's worse now. And it's going to get worse when it comes to our money. Okay? Uh, so many people are going to have the rug pulled from underneath them because they believe that okay, if I get a monthly uh, monthly income, that that means this is going to be coming forever. Well, it might. It depends on how long you live. You know, or if I get a monthly this and a monthly that, you know, monthly income, monthly pension, monthly stocks and bonds. You know, those those kind of uh, what do they call? What do they used to call that it's kind of income? Oh God! It just you know, you know, a lot of marketings back in the day used to call it some type of uh, passive income or something to that effect. I can't remember where you, where you, where you, where it's just showing up, and you don't really necessarily have to do too much. You know what I mean? And that's when back in the day people were uh, getting people to. Uh, like I said, with the marketing schemes, having you sign up for stuff, and before you know it, you'll forget about it, and you realize, wait a second, you know, because you have it on a certain, you know, your, your credit, you know, because they had their, your credit card, they had your checking accounts, so, oh, yeah, yeah, all right. so all of those, they, you know, people, they have that access to that kind of stuff, and then before you know it, your life got so overwhelmed, which is, which is, it's going to get even more so, and you forgot that you had this service you had that service and th and this stuff was taken out monthly you know monthly and you know so and we just became complacent we, we, and the main thing is overwhelmness we got overwhelmed with our lives so it was just taking on way too too many things like my like with me I, that's why i hate details you know the details of what all of these emails the details with paperwork da 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 but I, but I do pay attention to it all. I, I mean, we all have things about what we do 
to assist ourselves that we may not like. You know, some people like some people work out in the gym. You know, I um I injured myself. I think it was last year with my shoulders working out in my house with these weights. And um, you know, because you know, I I just wanted to keep up the strength. You know, and keep myself healthy. A lot of people are into how what they eat. That's the main thing that's indoctrinating people. However, and I'll get back to that at some some point in the future about how we are uh, kind of indoctrinated about food and nutrition and what we're supposed to eat and what we're not supposed to eat. And a lot of people are um, kind of spinning in that. What I mean by spinning in that, they are they probably probably are not looking at the big picture about um, what that means to you know about food and and how we we're gonna have to consider other alternatives. I, and I put a video on that. So, but anyway, so I have been feeling some some uncomfortableness, and I don't and, and you know uncomfortable situations will keep you kind of focus on it right if you're feeling uncomfortable don't you kind of focus on it and want and try to figure out what it is sometimes you just can't really, it's not necessarily physical per se but you know something's going on you know it's like okay there is some type of um it is it, it went from uncomfortable which is okay as long as i know my environment is safe this and that and the other okay okay but then it became discomforting and it was becoming discomforting to my consciousness, if that makes sense. In other words, um, I was feeling a, a, some kind of way. <laughs> you know what I mean? And sometimes you just, okay, remember what I said about words. Words are energy, but sometimes the words do not, there's no appropriate words to use. So that's why some words are meaningless, but other words have this uh, this way of, you know, putting you in trance, you know, so that's why words, so you need to pay attention to the words, but sometimes the words are meaningless and you individually have to discern that and say, okay, what does this word actually mean to me? You know, is that really my situation here or is this, this or that and the other? And so many people, um, who do not have the experience of life you know, are great, though, with using certain words and phrases and behavior. That's that oratories. I told you about the oratory types. They're very good at convincing you, persuading you, forcing you, you know, and um, indoctrinating you and just kind of taking over your personal space. In other words, they are way too close. May not be physically, but definitely uh, metaphorically and figuratively. They're too close to your uh, protective field that we all have. You know, this this uh, invisible force that we have that protects us. And, um, and that's why I say you don't need your ego to be running things. Your ego is there to protect you and kind of present certain, a certain, you know, persona or whatever but your ego needs to be put to the side because you naturally ought to have that 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 fortified field of protection that's bestowed to all of us by the way we all have it but sometimes we let our guards down and allow people to come too close and like i said come too close usually they are affecting your consciousness your psyche you know they're attempting to talk to your subconscious and you know, that's crazy. That All that stuff is crazy making. But if you're not grounded in your reality and you don't understand where you begin and or where you end and others begin, uh, where you end, others begin, or vice versa, you know, you know, a lot of people can just be all in, all in your shit. All right? You know what I mean? <laughs> all in your face. You know, all in it and... You didn't give them permission to be in your space like that. All up in your face, all up in your um, your personal life, you know, all up in your ass. 
quote unquote. And um, unfortunately, you know, we, we miss so many signs because a lot of people are so good at deception and manipulation and all this other stuff because that, that's what they focus on. Uh, that criminal energy. That's a new word that I hadn't seen before or used before, but it's, it's, it's a criminal energy, apparently, where some people know how to how to use it, apparently, I guess, or attempt or engage in it. I don't know if they, they think they may be successful, but they know how to engage in sometimes criminal energy, you know, where, where they're hurting, they're intentionally hurting people. And, and wanting to conjure up um, confusion. And they're conjuring up confusion and driving people insane because they're so um, dominating. The, the personalities are dominating and they are, you know, indoctrinating you, indoctrinating you. And then if you're kind of a calm, laid back, you know, a little bit, you know, not to say... I don't know, is it na naivete? Or, you know, you just kind of, you, you don't want to make a fuss. You know, you're kind of laid back. You don't want conflict. You don't want people upset with you and, and all this and that and the other. So you can be easily um, indoctrinated that way. If you are not, because I was that way for a while. I it was like, oh, I don't want to be arguing with people. I don't want to get into no conflict. Let's just get along. You know how, what's his name said that? Oh, poor guy. What's it? What was his name? Rodney King. You remember? You know, can we all just get along? You know, and, and he was just doing everything in his power to help. But, you know, sometimes that's what you just want. You just want, okay, I don't, I don't want to deal with this arguing and fighting. Let's just, can we all just get along? You know, can we all just, but, you know, a lot of people... Real, don't realize that that re requires some kind of effort. You can't just keep saying, "Okay, let's all get along," without putting in some effort. What's what's your what is your um, uh, you know what are your ideas on that? You know, so we got to get away from from superficiality as well. A lot of people are just so superficial and just saying what everybody wanted them to hear. I did that. I know. Just, you know, just saying what everybody want to hear and like, you know, can we just all get along? You know, can we just love each other? You know, all, you know, I mean, they mean well, but that comes, that, there, there's action behind all of that. You know, you just, you, you know, like love, the act of love. You know, you can't just say I, I love, it's an act, it's a behavior. You know, you have to put in the efforts for all, anything to, to, uh, to work or to be moving, you know. So, so I, you know, I, I was becoming disturbed by stuff that I was hearing, you know, from people that ought to know better, you know, and I, and I, I, I came to the conclusion that this person had self-hatred for themselves. And so when, when that, just like self-love, you can feel that. And I told you, when you have genuine love and you know what love is, you know that hate's there, but hate has been neutralized and it doesn't affect you. It, you know, it's there. Every now and then it shoots out its uh, impulses, you know, just to let you know it's there, you know, in a figuratively metaphoric level is what I mean. But, you know, you can pick it up in the sounds and tones of people. I can pick it up and I'm like, whoa. You know, it's almost like being punched in the face or punched in the stomach you feel that just like love you can feel love in your you know in your core as well so I had been picking up that I'm like well, where's this all coming from and then I mean I, re I know I know where it's coming from it's a, it was a group of people acting in certain ways that they didn't realize the uh, the might of their thoughts they didn't realize the power of their thoughts and I think they I think a lot of them just got caught up I think honestly, you know, after people start being more reflective of themselves, they realize, you know what, I, I you know, because I, you know, we're all susceptible to getting caught up in the moments. You know, we think we, 
you know, we want to think we're better than the rest and that we know something that others don't know. And and then we just get old. You know, it's like that crowd, that mob mentality. You know, when people participate in mobs, they usually are unconscious. And then they, but when they step back and be more reflective of it, they're like, well, how the hell did I get myself caught up in that? You know, that mob mentality. Let me see what it says about that. Mob mentality. Because, you know, it's everything's like, you know, or the herd mentality. It's a tendency of, for people's behaviors or beliefs to conform to those, to those of a group they belong to. And then once they release themselves from that group, they probably say, well, wait a, f- wait a second. Why was I talking like that? Why was I acting that way? And that's, that's what usually happens to a lot of us. We get caught up in wanting to fit in, you know, and, and usually that happens. You, you need that type of experience. And that's, you know, when you were children, adolescents, and your puberty, how many of us, <laughs> I know I was, I know I had a bully like, <laughs> behaviors growing up, you know, fighting boys. I used to fight boys, and you know, when I was in um, elementary school, I was fighting them, getting called to the principal's office, getting my paddling, you know. <laughs> and I was so thankful my mom couldn't drive. <laughs> in most cases, uh, when they used to, you remember, we had the landline phones. And some, you know, when my when we would go to school, my mom didn't want to be bothered with no phone calls. She probably she, you know, or she probably was on the call. She was probably on the phone talking to somebody because she was very, very um, an extrovert type, you know. Which I'm going to talk about that later in the future because extrovert, introvert are becoming meaningless, in my opinion. You know, like I said, it's labeling. We're labeling ourselves and putting ourselves in boxes. And, and then when you put yourself in a box, you don't believe, you don't believe you have options to step out of it. But anyway, she used to love to be on the phone. And then if somebody were trying to call her, they would get a business, busy signal and they won't get through. I know I got another relative that's like that. You know, they can talk on the phone for hours, hours, hours. <laughs> but now with the cell phone, it's different. You know, it's a little different. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely different and more, um, it causes you to be more immersive in it. That's the only danger with cell phones. You be, you become so immersed, immersed and you, and you know, you don't realize how much time you're wasting talking to people about nothing. <laughs> you know, rambling and shit. All right. All right. So anyway, some people get themselves caught up in stuff. And then they realize, you know what? I probably shouldn't have said that to her. She was just probably trying to help me. Or why was I acting like that? Why did I do that? Why did I do And so thankfully, my mom had a hold on a lot of us. I mean, all of us, for the most part, where she, you know, she knew how to put a stop to certain type of behaviors and actions. Trust me. All right. So anyway, sometimes we get ourselves in these herd herd mentalities or mob mentalities and then we start acting in ways that are just not who we are but we just want to fit in we just want people to like us oh, God, i just want you to like me you know so i'm going to act a certain way i do that if i'm trying to get somebody's attention who doesn't they're lying if they say otherwise you know i so but it has gone to a point of extremism because a lot of people that are extreme they want some attention they won't tell you that. They want your attention. They want some attention. So they know that they have to push that envelope and be as bad as they want to be, be as evil as they want to be. Because they want that they want that attention. You know, they want people to like them. They want people to look up to them and and, and, and you know, bestow them as, you know, the king or the queen, you know, and just give them all that superficiality support. You know, like a lot of leaders are that way, you know. the, the And the, a lot of these leaders are oratories. They can speak well, but they probably can't read a goddamn thing. Um, 
but they could speak well because I've known so many people that were illiterate, but yet they spoke very well, you know, and that's because you, you're picking that stuff up in your environment. That's how you know how powerful we are, how our bodies and our sensing and all that stuff adapts to situations. A lot of people have are losing that and that's because they're not thinking properly. And so what they're losing is brain cells as a result of not thinking properly. And so they end up getting easily indoctrinated, easily manipulated, easily in a trance, and they don't understand, okay, how did I get here? Why am I harming people with my words or harming people with my physicalness? You know, harassing women online. Because it comes a lot from men where women are being harassed online, young women especially protect biological women protect biological women you know they get online they're bothering these young girls they want this and the reason is because they want their attention and if they don't get their attention because again each as we're evolving in our you know in our evolution of of such some of us are devolving and becoming extremely degenerate, extremely deviant, and extremely dangerous. Okay, and a lot of them are hiding online, you know, behind these screen names, behind these personas that they've created. And a lot of them have uh, at least ten personas all over the uni- uh, all over the u- um, universe, all over the uh, well, it is the universe, social media universe, and they are, and they may have more you know, with each uh, group they're a part of, you know, they may have, you know, where their their whole intention is to harm people, and mostly women, uh, if they believe they're women, you know, but a lot of them had had them had met up with uh, um, transgender women online, and they thought they were dealing with, you know, a biological woman, but they were dealing with the transgender community. And they met their match. Mm-hmm. They met their match. And I'll talk about that another time as well. Like, I, Well, I'll say this again. A lot of these feminine straight males are going to be more in association with the transgender females because they're matching that same kind of energy. Okay? They're biological men, but but they have this... this, this uh, this connection to each other, you know, the feminine, masculine, and the, 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 you know, how they're confusing all of that. But anyway, that's another topic in itself. So we all become a part of a group mentality sometimes when we're underdeveloped. We're not developed properly in our consciousness. And you need to do that. You need to be a part of a group and know what it means. I told you years ago I joined a, uh, you know, a discussion group. And that was the best experience of my life, even though I was battered, you know, and um, just like everybody else was battering, you know, battering each other with words. You know, I had no idea who these people were, you know, unless they put their picture out somewhere. I had no idea whether I was talking to a man or a woman, to be honest with you, or a bot, you know, these uh, computer generated, whatever they are now. And there's a lot of them out there. And that could have been nipped in the bud. You know, but, you know, we allow something that should have been an assist, that should have assisted us, but now they dominate social media platforms as well, those bots. And they're artificial intelligence, in other words. That's part of that artificial intelligence, you know, sphere that is going to bring out, So you know, that was, like I said, it was a bot, and now it's going to be created into an actual believable um non-human human human, whatever that you know whatever androids and avatars all that stuff and it's out of control nobody can control it it was out of control uh 20 30 years ago okay but greed kept it going and now it's going to turn on the hands that fed it as well as all everybody else we're all going to be affected by it but it's how we navigate through it you can get through it if you're thinking 
But a lot of us, the majority of us, are not thinking. We're allowing these this technology to think for us. That's what we're doing. You know, a lot of us. So, but you know, again, people that resonate with me, they're gonna snap out of it at me because they know that. Okay, wait a second. Some things, you know. That, so, I, so I'm thankful for that. A lot of people are gonna get lost in a abyssal. I mean, in an an abyss, and you can't, you know, you can't save everybody. Okay, my roof ceiling looks a little weird. I need to check it out. Yep. So anyway, I knew something was going on that I was becoming very, very, very not. It's, I wasn't uncomfortable, but it was a discomfort. When something's becoming like a discomfort, it's like a you know like a pain. You need to resolve that otherwise all you're going to do is focus on that pain you know you know gnawing at you something was gnawing at me biting at me and I was being becoming disturbed by some of the language I was hearing and and some of the uh, behaviors and actions of certain people and so um what I usually do is in a subtle way you know because in because because in a subtle way, I'll say, hey, make sure, you know, and that's what we do. We say, okay, monitor yourself. You know, that's what parents do. All right. My mom, all my mom had to do is give me in the eye. And, and in black culture, we knew what that meant. If your black mother gave you the eye, you knew to sit your ass down somewhere or go take your ass outside. Okay. When well, my mom, you know, all she had to do is look at me a certain way and I'm gone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> And and my mom used to hate who wouldn't hate it when we would run away from her. Shit, who would stand who would stand by and put up with that? <laughs> so I started paying attention to my mom's behaviors and actions, and um, and I started paying attention to you know I, I knew her walk. I I, I can I, when if, if somebody was walking through the house, I knew who was walking based on their behavior and action. Okay, I, I be, because uh, you know I didn't want to get my ass in trouble. <laughs> but um, but yeah, uh, you know when someone believes they're better than they are, and they believe they're better than everybody else, and they believe they have all these skills and abilities, and they have a, you just have to let these people that kind of personality just let them go. You know, do the best you can to just, you know, you can do everything in your power to keep reminding them to work on your sounds and tones, work on your behaviors and actions. But once they become a certain age, you need to just let it go. Okay. Um, sometimes uh, the damage is done, you know, and I started realizing that the damage was irreparable. So, which is sad, you know, it's, sometimes it's sad to watch someone's demise that's self-created, though. And it's, what can you do? Not a goddamn thing. Can't do a thing about it. You just have to let people, and sometimes, you know, you don't want to be interfering with people's, when someone's development, whether it's uh, detrimental or not. If they're not, you know, you don't have a, uh, vested interest in them. Now, if that was my partner or some, somebody I'm married to, that's different because that I have a vested interest in that. Or my kids. I don't even, I don't even have any, I have no vested interest in my siblings or my relatives. All I can do is give them love and support, universal love and support. You know, that's not my vested interest. And so, and I hope that makes sense, you know. So that means, well, you know, and they knew better. So when someone knows better but chooses to do other otherwise, okay, free will. That's what I told you, power of free will. Understand what that means. I know I was talking, going back and forth with someone about, you know, they're concerned about certain things that are happening in 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 our in our realities which are cause and effect. And we're in the consequences of it. I said that. 
you know, and a lot of people are, I think they're being superficial about it. They can care less, you know, but anyway, I, I do my share of exchange. I don't know who these people are usually, you know, and it's usually on the social media platform. Everybody's just all in, in a rage or all upset and concerned and they can care less about people. They, you know, it, 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 it shows, you know, you can't, you can fool me and everybody else on the social media platform, but you can't fool your consciousness. You cannot. So I wish people would understand that and stop causing more damage to their consciousness than they are. But they claim to care about children. Okay. Animals, the homeless, women, men, transgender, the gay and the lesbians. Um, you know, people just you know, or somebody's mental stability or lack thereof, whether someone's aut autistic, bipolar, you know, attention deficit. You know, a lot of people, you know, put out these superficial claims that they care about that, but they're not walking the talk. That's all I'm saying. Now, there are plenty of genuine people that are making beautiful impacts, and they know I'm not talking to them. You know, they know that, you know, certain things have, nobody needs to know certain things about what people are thinking about or what you're doing and just do it. Sometimes you just have to do what you need to do, but you're not pretending with other people that you're not, that you're not pretending or you're not superficial, but you know what you're dealing with. And you know you have to be creative and protect yourself, protect your family, protect your property, you know, so... Those are the people that I know I resonate with. You know that, okay, something's going on here. I need to be very strategic about how I manage it. You know, see, I know how to verbalize, uh, but I hate to put that kind of stuff in, in writing because I'm working on, I'm, the reason I said that is because I need to work on a business plan. I need to work on a strategy and all of this and that and the other, and I don't really want to deal with that. You know, budget, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hire somebody to help me with all of that stuff. But anyway, but I'm just saying that people, I know people who resonate with me know that okay, I need, I need a job. I'm not gonna lose my job because of ignorance. So, but they know that nobody has to know what they're thinking about and what they're cultivating and contemplating and properly meditating and properly ruminating about how to make the most successful impact in the world. And you can. We all can. It's all free will. It's all choice. But again, I, I wouldn't want to lose my job for my um, theories and opinions. Basically, that's what it boils down to. Even though we sh we have laws that's supposed to protect us, that's not the case. And so that's why you just have to be very uh, creative, strategic, and navigate properly. Don't break rules. In other words. If you have unofficial, if you have official documents that don't belong to you, then and then you, but you decide to use them, thinking that you're helping people. All that does is give people the right, actually, to prosecute you because you have documents that do not belong to you. You're sharing them with people, and you ought to not share stuff that doesn't belong to you. You know, and it says it on the documents that this is official document, and what can happen to you. Okay, so I said that for a reason to a particular person in in general, or two people, um, or more, but two people that come to mind, you know, where they thought they were helping, which they were exposing things. But you need to be make, when you're exposing things, make sure you understand the implications of that, and uh, you know, and know what you're what you are exposing and why you're exposing it. Are you doing it because you want to get the attention of the women or the men or the children? What's your intention? Okay. And just know that, you know, uh, verbal, written, you know, agreements, you know, do hold up. You know, they, are, they hold up in court. Okay. So... So my point is, you know, continue to, to trust yourself and pay attention to how you're feeling. Okay, is there some discomfort within me? 
like I said, being uncomfortable is a little different, but we, you know, we're not going to get into all that, all these wordings of things. But, you know, if, if like, if I have a toothache, what am I going to be thinking about? It's my toothache. Or if I have a pain in my stomach or something, and it's going to take away from me focusing on what I need to, what I need to take care of. That's why it's so important to know that you are healthy and that you are nourished properly. You got proper rest. Okay. You know, and you know that you are grounded, you know, you're not delusional, trust it, trust it. And so certain things are starting to happen and starting to be revealed, which I knew it would. Um, you know, I did everything in my power to help, to bring awareness to that person in particular, and to people in particular, to groups in particular. That's Those are just examples of what I'm rambling about. Um, but cause and effect is real. You do reap what you've sown. Your intentions will be revealed because it's, you know, why in your results and in your behaviors and actions, and it can be revealed through your sounds and tones. You know, you saying you're saying one thing, but you're thinking other, making people uncomfortable, or, or not making them uncomfortable, but making people th- there's some discomfort about what you're saying. And what you're rattling on about, and it, it is just it just doesn't feel in alignment at all. You know, it just it feels like hate is like, like I said. I know the difference in between love and hate in, in in action and behavior, and and it comes through sounds. Even though you may be saying the right words, your sounds and tones give it away and make, and causes contradictions. And that's what I pick up. I'm like, whoa, what did they just say? What are they doing? What did I just hear? What did I just see? What did I just feel? You know, trust that. If my if the hair is standing up on the back of my you know neck, okay, pay attention to that. You know, and and say okay, make sure you're comfortable in the company that you keep. That's number one. Make sure your environment is safe. Make sure you're safe. You're paying attention, and you do you, you know try to have somebody with you. You know, I'm I'm into protecting and defending people. Now, that's just something I love to do physically. You know, like like you know, I support and advocate women. Okay, and women are being targeted and harassed. You know, and um, and the and the, and the people that are doing that to them have become so sophisticated in their behaviors and actions, where they can convince people that it's not happening. You know, they can say, oh, no, that she's just emotional right now. You know, she, you know, she's on her period. Oh, no, she's menopause. You know, they say all that kind of stuff. And then a lot of people say, oh, okay. Because they don't want to deal with it. Nobody wants to deal with this, 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 uh, these uh, extreme interpersonal relationship battles. Nobody wants to deal with that because it's, it's, because it's never ending. And it doesn't end. And it won't end until there's a separation. And unfortunately, there will be a physical separation because of safety biological women or women who I don't know biological women is all I can speak for now okay I don't understand I'm I'm doing everything in my power to understand those that are you know considering otherwise and that's and and I like I said you have to be in the proper settings with when you're when you're attempting to understand people and you make sure you understand. But there's a safety issue for biological women because we do not have, no matter how masculine I, te- I say I am, my strength is n- nothing compared to a biological man. Nothing. Okay, whether they're getting treatment or not. Okay, protect biological women. We're not, we are, w- biological men however they identify have strength over biological women for a reason that's a biological like go out in nature okay and if you have a you have um you know if you have a certain type of animal no matter how no matter what their strength is always going to be uh dominant over the female species okay so so trust yourself, trust each other, be kind and gentle with yourself when you make mistakes, when you, when you, you, 
you uh, say something to people that you t it turns out it was a it was not true at all. You accuse people of something, you realize you made a mistake. Be modest, you know. Be kind and gentle, but defend yourself when you need to. Raise your voice when you need to, you know, and um, and protect your consciousness through all of this. There's going to be some some interesting developments. I know that. I know it. And um, it's going to crush the fabric of some, some people that they have uh, relied on for so long. But now that fabric or that rug is going to get pulled from underneath them. And then what? Because they were building stuff up on, on, a, on a fake foundation. You know, it wasn't a solid foundation. It was a fake uh, uh, foundation wasn't solid. It was. It's like like it's that it's that um, metaphor where you know people there are people that rush into town. You know you, they rush into small towns and they overwhelm people with you know their with their claims. You know if you drink this, this will go away. If you think this way, that, and so they it, you know people gather around them. Like, wow, excited and happy and like, oh, my God. That's what the Internet did to us in the beginning. When we went online, everybody was excited. You know, everybody was everybody was believing everything that people were telling us and not realizing people were lying through their goddamn teeth. But we all were excited. I was, I'm still excited, actually, about the Internet and the potentials of it. But the social media, that's, the, that's where, you know, that's where they, that's where a lot of these what do they call them? Snake oil salesmen are, you know. Yeah, and then they're there one day, and then boom, they're gone. You know. So I just want to share this this morning on this Friday. Beautiful outside. I'm gonna go out there and enjoy it later in the day. I got a lot of things to do, so I. But I still, you know, want to come out, put out some content, put out some information. And this, again, you know, we all have been made a fool of, okay? We all have been fools. We all have been made, um, look like fools, act, you know, and just, you know, made fun of, you know. You know, it's happened to all of us, but, hey, you know, it comes with the territory for me. I get over it. You know, I don't like it, but I get over it, and I get back to where I need to be, ground myself again, and keep it moving. So I hope that this, I, I inspire others to do so. And, you know, comfort yourself, because a lot of people are going to be kind of devastated, you know, about certain things. And that that's every day. Some people are going to be devastated. Some people are going to be joyful. Some people are going to be you know, because, you know, there's going to be sadness. Some people are going to lose people. Some people are going to gain people. You know, it's just, that's what, that's what evolution is. You know, it's evolution. Moving forward. Okay, getting over things. So, I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love. All over the stars and moon and mountains. Spread universal love. Trust me. I'll be back.